earth is old, and yet it's new, because it keeps on changing. The way we live now is different from the way it was before. Technology and traditional practices have continued to transform in the past few years. And art? Art is not accepted. I am now in a coffee shop. And this is the place where I will be sharing the artworks with you for this learning session. Art Tita Nexus will be joining us again for another art session using, yeah, you get it right, coffee. We will also get to know the elements and principles of contemporary arts. Join me in another fun-filled lesson for contemporary Philippine arts from the regions. If you will recall our last episode featured national artists in the field of literature and the performing arts who use their works as tools to deliver their advocacy to their audience. This time, we will focus on the changes that we are seeing in our society and the growing consciousness that has come with it and how it has given way to a new form of art now dominating the entire world and we call it contemporary art. After this episode, I hope we can get your dormant creative juices flowing. Are you ready? Of course! Why don't we jumpstart today's discussion by playing a game first? I will show you a video clip of the five different elements of contemporary art. Within five seconds, you will have to identify what element and principle of art is being shown. I will show you the word shape and some of the letters as your clue. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started! 1. Here's the video! And for your clue, the correct answer is Appropriation. In the video is Art Tita Nexus's acrylic painting on her denim bag inspired by Van Gogh's Starry Night. 2. Here are the clues. The correct answer is performance art. In the video is Sir Frank Lloyd de Guzman of Deped TV Baguio in one of his performance as a contemporary dancer. 3. Here are your clues. The correct answer is space. The video was taken by Kurt John Sinoro, a local artist from Negros, and Neon de la Armente. The installation is right in front of renowned visual artist Nune Alvarado's house by the beach. Four. The clues are the correct answer is hybridity. In the video, Bacolod non visual artist and coffee art advocate Mark Espinosa uses pure powdered instant coffee in making his portrait artworks. 5. Here are the clues. The correct answer is technology art. In the video, Art Tito Jardo uses an app to create digital graphic art. Were you able to identify all of the elements? Well, great job, learners! From the drawings inside an ancient cave, 
art has evolved into something that is used as a tool to spark a movement and push an advocacy forward. Artists from different generations have added their identity into the kind of art seen in their lifetime. For our lifetime, we have this, contemporary art. There are five elements and principles of contemporary art, namely appropriation, performance art, space, technology, hybridity. Let's go through each one of them and see some works of local artists from the different regions excelling in each element. The first element of contemporary art is appropriation. Appropriation is the process of making new artworks by taking inspiration from an already existing work and mixing it with new ones. In this photo, you can see Art Tita Nexus's painting of a starry night sky over a mountain and a UFO. Her painting in Van Gogh's Starry Night is somewhat the same and different at the same time. While she uses expressionism in her painting, Nexus added her own landscape and a touch of modernism with the addition of the UFO. The second one is performance art. Performance art refers to art or art activities that are shown to a live audience and can combine different forms of art to create a more engaging art experience for the audience. Performance art focuses on how the performer can use his or her body as a medium or a tool for his or her artwork. Usually, the movements reflect the message that the artist wants to express. The movements are difficult to copy since they are somehow dependent on the artist's emotions. Ipag-uukit ko kayo ng mga bagong idolo ng mga balot sa tela na mga santo pero akin lang. Ito. Akin. Ito. The third one is space. This is a type of art that is able to transform space. Some examples are art installations like the one we saw in the video a while ago and flash mobs. Here are photos of famous contemporary artist Leroy News' works. Shifting away from traditional two-dimensional visual art, Leroy uses recycled and recyclable materials to spread awareness about the limitless nature of art. He also uses his works as a tool to promote his advocacy to promote the environment. And here's a video of the Baguio City Teachers Zumba Party led by Sir Frank Lloyd de Guzman. Another example of how the element of space is used in contemporary art. Mag-aaral sa panahon ngayon, maging maingat Stay home, stay safe, ang gawin para lahat kayo laging ligtas Kaya huwag kayong mag-alala, nais akong maganto sa'yo Ngayong pandemya, huwag isipin tuloy ang ligayan ng sigla Halina't sumayaw, sumabay, pagsakit ko talon The fourth one is technology art This refers to the use of technology in creating and publishing an artwork when the world became digitalized, so did art. Here's a video of a young digital visual artist, Alan from Negros, and musical artist Jeremiah from Albay using technology to produce art and publish art. The last element is hybridity. Hybridity is another element and principle in contemporary art wherein artists use unconventional media in making a piece of art. Patrick, an artist from Escalante City, used a recycled mass as the main subject. He then decorated the surrounding space with old lead flowers from his sister's wedding years ago and play money. Sir Jeff, a teacher from Pangasinan, uses scrap metal to create a piece of art. He forms different figures using the parts he was able to collect from discarded appliances. Are you ready for some coffee painting? You will learn hybridity, 
an element of contemporary art. Let me call Art Tita Nexus. Hello, Art Tita Joanne. Hello, Art Tita Nexus. How is it going? Are you ready to show us how to paint using coffee? Of course, I was just getting ready. Hello learners! Today, we are going to make art out of coffee. And for that, we are going to need the following. Coffee, our main material. A glass of water to dilute our coffee. A brush. A color palette for mixing. Watercolor paper. Paper scotch so we don't worry about our paper moving. And of course, a pencil. The concept is simple. It's basically like watercolor, but with coffee. The first thing to do is to put some powdered coffee in the palette. Just a tiny amount so we can build it up later. Now, I will put some water to dilute it. Make sure that you're using plain powdered coffee. No sugar and creamer. Now that you have diluted coffee, you can use it to come up with varied shades. Coffee painting is monochromatic, which means we only have one color, brown. To make use of only one color in painting, we have to get different shades. To do it, we dilute our first mixture with more water to make it lighter, or add more coffee to make it darker. When drawing, Make sure you don't leave pencil marks. Just guide the pencil enough so you can see the sketch you will use as your guide. Today, I want to go back to those memories and paint some amorcico. It's simple, uncomplicated, and easy to do. Now let's paint the background first. I'll use the lightest color I have. Make sure that you let every layer dry. Now I'm going to add some grass. Now we draw the amorcicos. It's long, so the amorcicos should be taller than the grass. And that's it! We're done! We now have our simple coffee painting. Perhaps I could try this at home later. Well, learners, I hope you got inspired by what we discussed today, which are the five elements and principles of contemporary art, namely appropriation, performance art, space, technology art, hybridity. The local artists we featured in this episode are just some of the hundreds of underappreciated artists all around the Philippines who just need more exposure and recognition. They are the fresh blood of our era, the ones who will pass art on to the next generation. Who knows? Maybe you too. If you want to share your coffee painting creations with us, please post it on Facebook and use the hashtag MyCoffeePainting. Until next time, I'm your art tita, Teacher Joanne, here to help you get your creative juices flowing. Bye and God bless!